In this video, I'll show you how to fix a new hard drive not showing up on your computer. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Have you just gone and installed a new hard drive or HDD and you went and opened up your file explorer and noticed that it's not appearing in here? Well, don't worry because this is a common issue and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So all you want to do is go down to your search bar. All you need to do is type in partition, just like so. And then you're going to have this option here for create and format hard disk partitions, which is exactly what we need to do. So go and open that up just like so. And when you first go and open up the disk management app, you're going to go and get this pop-up saying initialize disk. And it's going to go and show you the new disk, which you've recently gone and added to your computer. So in this case, a new hard drive. And what you need to do is make sure it's selected. And then below that, make sure you go and select GPT. And then you're going to be on the disk management app. Now it is important to note that at the moment, I haven't gone and installed a new hard drive I've done it before and I've actually recently this with my brother which is why I've got some screenshots for um so yeah what you want to do is go and find your new disc so you're probably gonna need to scroll down just like so in the second section of the app so scroll down here and go and find the new disc and you'll be able to tell it's the new one because it's going to go and say unallocated where this has been allocated so what you need to do is go and find the unallocated area which will be in here and what you need to do is right click on it and then go and tap on new simple volume then this is going to go and open up the new simple volume wizard and so the first choice you'll have to make in the new volume wizard is how much disk space you want it to go and have. I recommend just giving it the maximum amount of space. And on the next page you're going to be asked to give your drive a letter. So for example I've got a C drive, a D drive, an E drive, an F drive, a G drive so I'd probably go and add an H drive next just to keep it in order. But it can be any letter so that's up to you. And then you're going to be on the format partition page and what you need to do is go and choose the file system. So I recommend just doing NTFS, it's pretty universal. And then you want to go um, and make sure the allocation you it so it's at the default and then you can go and choose the volume label this is just the name of your drive I personally don't change it and personally I did go and select perform a quick format just to make sure everything's running smooth then you can press next and then you can go and press finish and that's literally it all it will then be allocated space and you can go and use it and it's going to go and appear in your file explorer in the devices and drives section if you guys found this useful please go down below and consider leaving a like peace